Let's finish out our ball coil. First thing we're going to have to do is make our shafts and we need to measure those out so we can put them in position like this and I will hold that there. You can see it's to the center of the ball. Now, don't forget we're going to need our electrical contact place right here. You're going to need some space to uh, exit like a cabinet if you're going to put it in a cabinet. And then, of course, there is the mounting knob, so you need to leave space for that. Okay, so then you cut your shaft, and then let's go to the next. The next step is we're going to take our wrapped coil and the wire that goes through the case up here at the top. We're going to lead that down into one of those two holes in the center like this. We are going to bear off the copper. We're going to make sure that copper is really clean. Then we're going to take our shaft. We're going to cut a notch in the end of the shaft. We're going to put it on this wire and then we're going to give it a pinch. I tried to do this on a camera. I failed. So we're going to give it a pinch and then we are going to lift the wire up out of there. We're going to wrap it with tissue, wet tissue underneath there, and then we're going to solder that joint so that, uh, yeah, that is permanent. After that, we're just going to do the other one, and there will be mirror images of each other, uh, after which we will just simply glue the thing together, and that's it. So, okay, nothing to it but to do it. I have the wire soldered to the brass rod, and I've removed the tissue. I've pressed this back in place. Now what's important is to make sure that this, these two halves, still mate, and that I don't have a big gap along here somewhere um, because we have to glue these together and it has to be a good fit. So uh, we have to do whatever we have to do. I had to file the excess solder off of here before I could get it to go down in there. And that was all it took. Um, but yeah, now we are going to repeat this same process for the other half. We're not going to do this half. We're going to go ahead and do the other half. We're going to put the tube on here and then all we have to do is flip them over, glue them together and join the wires of the equator. And that's pretty much it for the ball. I have finished the second one, but when I join the halves, they have some, oops, that one's not sitting down. They do this, and that happened with the first one. So what I need to do is I've got solder remaining here and here, and I just need to go file that away until uh, it fits the channel once again, and the other half fits without wobbling. Okay, so let's uh, go do that. And at that point, um, it's pretty much time to glue the two halves together. I've got these all cleaned up so they mate well. So the next step is to take our super glue and to coat these surfaces, as many surfaces as we can, especially the channel around the brass rods, uh, anywhere on the inside here. The outside we can do from, from here, but these inside parts, not so much. So I'm going to get as much glue on there as I can, and then I'm going to clamp it together. Hopefully I can keep this on camera. If not, forgive me, but uh, yeah. Okay, so let's hop to it. Um, I definitely don't want these shafts pulling out. And I don't have to do everything on both sides. Um, As long as I've got enough on one side. Okay, here we go. Moment of truth. This either happens or it does not. Everything is aligned. Yes. 
in place yes and now I get to sit here and hold this <laughs> as hard as I possibly can this is this is one of those one-shot deals but it looks like I've got it the crack is is closed all the way around okay well I'll sit here and do my job and I won't make you watch uh, and the next thing we'll do is we'll connect the wires at the equator and that's it for the ball all that's left to do with the inner ball is to join the wires from the equator so here's where the lower ball goes in enters right there and here's where the upper ball ends it goes in right there and what I've done is I've carried the wire on around to here and on this side I've carried it on around to here and all I have left to do is trim these off bare the wire and solder them together and then tuck them inside of there and then I will be back to show you the result and we will test it to see if we have continuity here we're all done I've soldered that connection right there and tucked it down inside there so it's just one more continuous turn I also tucked the other wire that goes to the uh, shafts I tucked that down inside here so it's below the level of this um, and did on the other side everything is now all cleaned up and ready to go and the next step is let's give it a test to make sure we have continuity from one end to the other well you can't see if I put my hand there okay so looking good um, the next step will be to do the outer shells and after that I mean we're pretty much ready to go the trick here is going to be to figure out how to uh, do the electrical connections from the outer shell uh, to this point where it connects to the inner shell shafts okay so that's it for this round uh, and again one more time to go we should have this ready and that's it and then we test it and see what we got